Good morning. We're going to continue with some more visualization. How to visualize. Many people wonder exactly what is meant by the term visualize. Some worry because they don't actually see a mental picture or image when they close their eyes and try to visualize. Don't get stuck on the term visualize. It is not at all necessary to mentally see an image. Some people say they see very clear, sharp images when they close their eyes and imagine something. Others feel that they don't really see anything. They just sort of think about it or imagine that they are looking at it or become aware of a feeling impression. That's perfectly fine. We all use our imaginations constantly. It's impossible not to. So whatever process that you find yourself doing when you imagine is fine. If you still don't feel sure what it means to visualize, read through each of these exercises, then close your eyes and try it. Close your eyes and relax deeply. Think of some familiar room, such as your bedroom or living room. Remember some familiar details of it such as the color of the carpet, the way the furniture is arranged, how bright or dark it is. Imagine yourself walking into the room and sitting or lying down on a comfortable chair, couch, or bed. Now recall some pleasant experience you have had in the last few days especially one involving good physical sensations, such as eating a delicious meal, receiving a message, swimming in cool water, or making love. Remember the experience as vividly as possible and enjoy the pleasurable sensations once again. Now, imagine that you are in some idyllic country setting, perhaps relaxing on soft green grass beside a cool river or wandering through a beautiful lush forest. It can be a place that you have been or an ideal place where you would like to go. Think of the details and create it any way that you would like it to be. Whatever process you used to bring these scenes to your mind is your way of visualizing. There are actually two different modes involved in creative visualization. One is the receptive, the other is active. In the receptive mode, we simply relax and allow images or impressions to come to us without choosing the details of them. We take what comes in the active mode, we consciously choose and create what we wish to see or imagine. Both these processes are an important part of creative visualization and your receptive and active abilities will both be strengthened through practice. Special problems with visualization. Occasionally, a person 
has completely blocked his ability to visualize or imagine at will and feels that he simply can't do it. This type of block usually arises from a fear and it can be worked through if the person desires to do so. Usually a person blocks his ability to use creative visualization out of fear of what he may encounter by looking inside himself. Fear of his own unacknowledged feelings and emotions. For example, a man in one of my classes was consistently unable to visualize and kept falling asleep during the meditations. It turned out that he had once had a profoundly emotional experience during a visualization process and he was afraid he would be embarrassed by becoming emotional in front of others. The truth is that there is nothing within us that can hurt us. It is only our fear of experiencing our own feelings that keep us trapped. If anything unusual or unexpected arises during meditation, the best thing is simply to look at it fully, be with it, and experience it as much as you can, and you will find that it loses any negative power over you. Our fears arise from things we don't confront. Once we are willing to look fully and deeply at the source of a fear, it loses its power. Fortunately, such problems with visualization are rare. As a rule, creative visualization comes naturally. And the more you practice it, the easier it will become. Little asterisk down here, it says, um, I recommend the Silva Mind Control Course for those desiring special practice with visualization. See the recommended reading list. I'm going to stop there and I'll start. The next one is four basic steps for effective creative visualization. So I hope you come back to hear the next one. I appreciate you. Oh yeah, this has been the book titled Creative Visualization.